Yo, hello everyone and welcome back again to a brand new video. Python developers and Telegram fans. Do you want to harness the power of Python to create your own Telegram bot? You are in the right place. In this 2024 tutorial, we'll walk you throughout the process of building a Telegram bot using Python. So guys, let's get started. So before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information. So guys, for this specific tutorial, we are going to be guided by this very fantastic article made by MindK. So, with chatbots being all the rage now and being the trend nowadays, and basically you're gonna need it no matter what. If you have a business online, if you do use the social media, or if you at least use any kind of networking thing, such as mobile, PC, or anything, but are very, very helpful. So today, we are going to learn together how to make one and specifically for those who are familiar with Python. So in this tutorial, we are going to go throughout a couple of steps, which are basically nine most important steps. The first one, which it's simply being learned and being familiar with the Telegram bot API. And then we are going to implement exchange rate requests. And then we are going to create Telegram bot using Botfather, which is basically uh, a tool that is made by Telegram inside of Telegram. It's simply a conversation. It's like ChatGPT, but it is inside of Telegram. So you simply have to open your Telegram account and simply search for Botfather, and you will be able to talk to this bot and manage to create your own bot. And it is very simply simple and very fantastically good. And then we are going to configure it and then we are going to get to the part where we are going to implement Python within this code or within our bot. Since you can literally create it without any coding, but we are going to specify for this video a part of it where we are going to talk about the Python. So the first thing guys is the step zero, a little bit of Telegram bot API theory. Here is a simple question to start our guide with. How, how do you develop Telegram chatbots? The answer is very easy. You use HTTP API both for reading the messages sent by users and for messaging back. This calls for using URL which looks like api.telegram slash org slash bot method name. A token is a unique string of characters required to authenticate a bot in the system. It is generated during the bot's creation and looks like this. As you can see right in this line. The method name, and this is obviously from its name, is a method, for example, get update, send messages, get chat, or basically receive messages. To execute requests, you can use both get and post request. A lot methods require additional parameters. While using the send message method, for example, it's necessary to say chat ID in text. The parameters can be passed as a URL query string, application slash xww dot form, uh, URL encoded and application JSON, ex except for upload of files. So when you get to the API request, or uh, you will receive a JSON response, for example if we fetch data with get me method, you will receive something like this. So get HTTP, get me, etc., etc. Now we are at this point, which is basically, we learned something about APIs and how it works, but now how we can actually get the user's misses or how we can use this method to receive the user's misses. <coughs> Wait, sorry guys. So basically it's pretty easy. So the first thing is you can manually make requests via the get updates method. In the response, you will get a value of update object. This method act as long pooling technology. You make a request, process the data, and then start over again. To avoid reprocessing the same data, it's recommended to use the offset parameter. The second way is to use webhooks. You have to use the set webhook method only once. After that, Telegram will send all the updates on the specified URL as soon as they arrive. Now, how to use the getUpdate method? Now, first of all, you don't want to or can't configure HTTPS during the development. You use scripting language operation, which is hard to integrate into a server. Your bot is high loaded and you change the bot server from time to time. The webhook method is the best choice if you code 
in a web language like PHP, etc., uh, your bot is low load and there is no point in manual requesting updates on a regular basis, and your bot is permanently integrated into a web server. In this guide, we will use the get updates method. Now, how to make the bot program? Well, is basically as we talked about previously in this video, you have to go to bot father. So you simply have to open your telegram, go to bot father, simply by click on it. As you can see, this is the bot father, is the one the, the one bot to rule them all. Use it to create new bot accounts and manage your existing bots. So, it's used to create a Telegram bot. It also allows a basic configuration of your bot, such as the picture, the name, the ID or the username, and the description. Also, you can add a couple of settings into it. There are plenty of libraries that can simplify working with Telegram bot API, to name a few which basically we are going to base our video on we have python so for this you can go by telegram bot api tbot or telebot so these two are basically the ones that you're gonna be needed to install to your pc so you can use them as your base of your code now step one implement the exchange rate requests so you have to start writing a python script which is going to implement the logic of specific currency exchange rate requests we are going to use private bank api an example of a response for example euro is basically by 28.7 cell 29.1 or same thing for usd etc now you have to create a pb.pi file and write the following code so you can simply just copy it and paste it and we have now implemented three methods load exchange get exchange and get exchanges load exchange will basically show you the exchanges for or the prices for specific specific uh, currencies get exchange is basically returning the exchange rate for the requested currency and exchanges return a list of currencies at the same time Second step is to create a bot using bot father, which we have talked about. Configure and initiate the bot, which is basically by copying this code. And now you have to start the command handler and start making your own bot. So here you have to go simply to your bot father and simply write slash help command handler. After that, you will receive literally everything that you might need from servers, from code that you will need and all of the things that you might think of these things you are going to base on we are basically going to give you a whole tutorial like coding what are the key things to use what are uh for they will give you examples of bots that have already been made so you can literally copy the code and paste it and yeah just by following bot father uh, adjustments and uh, files you will be able to create your own bot so with that being said guys this article will help you a lot to actually make a currency exchange bot otherwise if you want to make other bots you simply have to go to botfather right slash help command um, and it will give you everything that you might need so thank you guys a lot and see you guys in the next tutorial